Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, the decisive second leg in this Conmebol Libertadores quarter-final tie. It's Atletico Mineiro versus Flamengo. Well, thanks, Derek. Still everything to play for here, but these fans must be fairly confident after that first leg win. This could be a really close game today. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stuart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. And now Franco. Lost possession. Potential danger here. Oh, surely! Well, that helps the cause. Level on aggregate, but trailing on away goals. They need another. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Matias Zaraccio. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Is this the moment? And a goal it is! How significant could that prove to be? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Could be threatening. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Matias Zaraccio. An incisive pass. now in this tie well as you can see he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace and then it's a decent finish that's a very good goal you have to say And now Franco. It might be. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping. 
going for. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. And that's it, the final whistle, and the hosts will go through. Well, you can't say they didn't deserve it. They were by far and away the better team over the two legs, and the result was never much in doubt. I'm sure they'll face a sterner test in the next round, but they'll be full of confidence off the back of that performance. Well, Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, he should be pleased with himself today, because he performed really well, he scored a good goal, and they won the game. An excellent day all round.